Okay, hello, good morning. Uh, here's another automation process in Revit and Dynamo. So this one is encountered into one of my projects. So it's, again, so it will automate the placement of pipes and connections from this one. So let's start. So this one is a fun call unit, okay? So let's try this one here. Okay, so we have FCU cassette type with the connection of supply, return, and then condensate. And this is our main pipe here. And so if you usually you have a, sometimes you have a series of a fan call unit and then connected into the main pipe here, this one. And also the sanitary piping. So the sanitary piping is tricky because if, if there are series of fan call unit cassette type, sometimes it will, uh, because of the gradient, it will uh, uh, the pipe will ex expose into the ceiling due to the length. Okay, so I'll show you what I mean here. Okay, so let's start here. So in here uh, in the ceiling, okay, the normal process is replace the FCU, then coordinate with other discipline like lighting. A speaker, sprinkler, then after coordinating, then we have now the fixed location of the fan call unit. So that's the best process, especially working with the room uh, data sheets, okay? So let's say you already coordinated and then you want to draw now the starting the piping. So the first start of the fan call unit or the FCU cassette type, is the most important one because this one will dictate the gradient of the condensate drain. Okay. So, okay. So let's start now the normal process to, on creating the pipe. You select this one, place here, and then you select the pipe type also. If you have a type supply, and then you check also if there's a gradient here. Okay. This one. So this will be your supply. Then this will be your return. So you change also. Normally I combine the supply and return pipe, but in this case, let's say they have separate pipe types. So you have to indicate what type for this system. Then we have the uh, sanitary. So this one. <clears throat> so for the sanitary, um, it's a little tricky because there's a gradient involved in this one. So when I click this one, I have to select slope down, one is to 90 value, and then you select the condensate drain. Uh, where is it? This one. Either this one or this one, EPBC, and then click. Now you have now the gradient one is 90. Then after that, of course, you have to connect, um, connect here. So for example, this one, you can just throw here. Like that, okay. And then since this is our first root pipe uh, slope, um, condensate drain. So let's say this is the riser or nearest floor trap here, the toilet area. So that's your gradient. So if you check in the 3D, this one, as you can see here, this now the gradient of this uh, pipe. So as you can see, it's already um, below the ceiling. Let's see of the gradient. So maybe we change the gradient a little uh, lower. So let's say one is 260. So we ch change this one. Click here, draw pipe, slope. Uh, let's try one is 260. If we can manage to. So we still ex Oh, so one is 
So I think it's better we go to one is to 90 group type, one is to 90. So maybe we'll just draw at here. To the lowest point, so up to here. <clears throat> so let's say we have only up to here. Then we will connect now uh, this pipe to the floor trap. There is floor trap. Slope down. Okay, that one. So go down. So normally that's how you draw this one. One is to ninety at center. Okay, like that. Now for the rest of the pipes, of course, you can do also you select this one. Again, normal process, you select this pipe here. Then you select the supply. And then you turn off. So uh, there are a lot of things to, to consider the properties. Click this one, then click again this one, and then click again, but then you change to return so that's the normal process it will take time it's boring sometimes click here and then slow <clears throat> and then condensate one is 290 okay so actually once you created this one you can also copy here it, it can uh, but sometimes not just uh, a series sometimes it will not be a series maybe this this one is located here this one is located here. So it's not also practical to delete this one. Imagine you already coordinated that one and then you copy, copy here, and then place like that. Uh, for me, I don't have to delete. No, it's, it's, it's already uh, doing rework because it's already coordinated this one coordinate. So what I need to do here is I need to automate the placement of this pipe. So now is here comes dynamo. So this one here, I will just show you quickly. So when I select this element, so take note that this is now the return in this uh, opposite direction. So when I play this one, it will create the supply perfectly. I uh, will just drag it here. So this is now the supply. This is the uh, return, and then this is the sanitary cond uh, condensate drain with the slope. So this is also in the opposite direction. So it's the same. It doesn't matter because we get already the uh, connector direction. So when I select this one, select again, and then play, it will still create the perfect pipe type, supply, return, and then the sloping this one drain so what i have to do now is just press tm click this one is connected click this one and then click this return and then so it's it's much faster now to connect okay so let's just finish all this uh fun coil unit here let's see you up to here, play, select. Okay, and then DM. Yes. Oops, sorry. I selected the wrong pipe. Just click, 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 connect. So it's connected, then DM again. You click here, and then, oh, sorry, click here, here. Here connected, auto connect, connect, connect. So <clears throat> this one, so you do it the rest of the, we can do it the rest of the FCU. Then for this uh, sloping now, of this, um, what you call this, this condensate. So if you go to 3D, the normal process for the condensate to connect is like this okay show you how to connect manual so click this one here right click draw pipe sloping one is to 90 maybe you 
get closer here. Then you change the slope, change slope. So that, let's say you have a 45 degree here. It will automatically create. So this one, I have to change the fittings. So for this one, I have to change to generic only. Just, just for example. So again, I have to click here, row pipe. Slope change, one is to 90. So then 45. So like that. That's how you connect the... The condensate. The next one, the same, just click. Draw pipe and then maybe closer here and then like that. So it will now create the uh, angle here. So that's how you can connect in the condensate manually. But if you want to connect uh, way faster than th that, one by one, then we use another script here. So I have another script here. Um, element pipe connector, element pipe connector. Uh, that, uh, this one, so select this one. So uh, 45, okay. So select the main, main pipe. So this one, select the branch, this one here, and then just click play. So it will not, it will just create this uh, pipe here, but you can just trim this one directly. It's connected. So TM, it will connect also. So you select, select the main, select the branch. Okay, select the branch, play. So automatic, it will create now. Just select select the branch and play. So, and then select the branch, play. So you have now this uh, uh, pipe. And then you just trim this one. Trim, trim, trim. Then after trim, then you, so trim multiple, click this one, and then it's connected now. So then you have now the perfect system connected with the sloping also. So, okay. So that's how you can uh, take advantage of these automations. So if you want to check the, this one, I think this one is a, a little longer with this automatic condensate train, 45 degree connect. Uh, let's check this one. So yeah, I think it's not that sim simple. So you have to, yeah. But it's already in the, uh, this one is already in the Dynamo Beam. You just search that one in the, and then you can download it there. So I guess that that's it. And enjoy your Dynamo trainings. Okay. Okay.